Hi everyone, I'm Tammy with Paradise Getaways. I'm a destination wedding designer and I wanted to share with you my top nine destination wedding locations and just give you a quick overview of each of the locations and what it takes to get married there. And hopefully you'll find something that will be a perfect fit for you and your group. Let's get started. Jamaica is at the top of my list. That doesn't mean it's my number one choice, but I do absolutely love Jamaica. It's so much fun. It's everything that you think of when you consider a tropical Caribbean getaway. It just has the people, it has the music, it has that vibe, that very laid back atmosphere. Gorgeous beaches, waterfalls, tons of adventure. It's very romantic and lush and tropical. Uh, botanical gardens, everything that you uh, could ever want, and it definitely has something for everyone. Jamaica is a top uh, choice for a destination wedding for several reasons, and some of my highlights for Jamaica would include that there's only a 48-hour residency for your legal wedding, which is absolutely amazing, and you can actually arrive any day of the week. So if you came in on a Saturday, you could get married on a Monday, which is great and very e easy paperwork. There's no translation of documents, of course, because it's English um, for their uh, language there. Ease of travel is another reason why I chose uh, Jamaica for a, a great destination wedding locale. And uh, lots of flights in and out da daily, so very good for your, for your guests who would be attending your wedding. And great um, budget-friendly options and some of the best all-inclusive resorts, really are in Jamaica and some of my favorite sandals and beaches as well. Uh, the Riviera Maya, Mexico is also a wonderful top wedding location and uh, this area is the Caribbean side of, um, of Mexico so you can see that you have the beautiful white sand beaches and the crystal clear blue water and this area just has a ton of really cool things to do. Lots of exciting exploration to um, discover with your guests which would be awesome for those active groups. Uh, unique culture, historical ruins, and you've got nightlife, the beaches, and absolutely um, a phenomenal all-inclusive resorts. I mean, really, really high level of luxury that you can get in the Riviera Maya. On the left there, that's one of my couples who um, is pro propelling down into a cenote, and this was the day before their wedding, and that's just a really cool moment that they captured there. Um, and then for, uh, for a legal wedding there in the Riviera Maya, you have a four-day residency, and you do have to bring four witnesses with you at that time. So honestly, a lot of my guests, um, a lot of my clients um, do do a uh, symbolic wedding. Symbolic wedding is uh, really looks the same. It's the exact same kind of ceremony and setup. It's just not legal. So you would either get married legally in the United States prior to your departure, or you could do so after your return, and your guests really wouldn't know the, the wiser. And in the middle there is another one of my wonderful couples who got married in the Cancun area. Isn't that just absolutely stunning? They look like models, don't they? <laughs> oh, they're just a great couple, great, very great couple. Love them. Um, this is a great location for short getaways, uh, but there is, it is a long stretch, Riviera Maya, so don't get yourself too far down south, or those three-night getaways would would be a little bit trap harder for your guests to um, to really maximize their time there. And a lot of flights in and out, so ease of travel, very good, uh, generally speaking, flight prices as well. And you just get a really high level of luxury for the price in the Riviera Maya. Dominican Republic is also a great uh, location for destination weddings, becoming more and more popular. They've got some great new um, resorts that are really stepping it up when it comes to offering phenomenal wedding options there. I love Dominican Republic. I, uh, specifically, I love the beaches there, and they're like really nice big beaches, and they're lined with these gorgeous palm trees. So it just has such a really cool tropical feel to it. Uh, very nice soft powder white sand, the Emerald Mountain, so they have more of that rainforest mountainous appeal there, some really cool culture and history as well in this area, and really great all-inclusive resorts that will, will fit every budget. Wedding highlights for Dominican Republic, you do need a three-day uh, residency uh, in order to get married there. They do have some casinos, which is exciting. So if you want some nightlife and some activities for your for your guests and you're into that sort of thing, a lot of the resorts have some great casinos. And the uh, Hard Rock uh, Hotel 
it there just has that's a picture that you're seeing there it's amazing absolutely breathtaking very fun and um, they do allow the symbolic ceremonies I would say that most of my clients do get uh, a symbolic wedding here in the Dominican Republic because the paperwork tends to be a little bit more tedious it's not undoable uh, you know and certainly I would walk you through that whole process if you did want to do the legal wedding and also here for a legal wedding the judge will speak in Spanish and then you will have a translator translate it into English so just keep that in mind uh, that's another one of my beautiful couples there in the middle getting married at Dreams Punacana absolutely breathtaking uh, photo that was captured there as well great budget friendly accommodations a lot of different choices for wedding ceremony setups and and color schemes and all of the things that you're looking for in your wedding day uh, Turks and Caicos now this would be a, a very unique place to go a lot of people haven't even heard of Turks and Caicos it's kind of just becoming a little bit more popular it's been uh, hiding under the radar so to speak but this is definitely a place for more the more discerning traveler someone who's looking for an upscale quaint island maybe a luxury traveler would uh, tend to go here and definitely if you're into water sports if you're a beach lover they are absolutely amazing here uh, snorkeling diving are exceptional and very very high-end luxury accommodations uh, beaches Turks and Caicos is in this area that's the best all-inclusive resort really worldwide in my opinion so that would be a phenomenal option for a multi-generation group very fun uh, resort but then there's also some really cool quaint upscale um, boutique style hotels they wouldn't be all-inclusive but just breathtaking breathtaking views and pictures for your wedding and just a, a really intimate experience a 48-hour residency is required to get married legally in Turks and Caicos. You do have to arrive on business days for that to count, so you can't get in on um, like a Saturday and have that count. So you would have um, like a Monday. If you were to arrive on a Monday, you could get married on a Thursday. So your day of arrival doesn't count. So your your two days, I guess, after your first arrival day business day would would um, allow you for the legal wedding there and um, they do like I had mentioned the best all-inclusive resort beaches Turks and Caicos is there and uh, you definitely wouldn't be sorry for that and then the great hotel options in general and if you're a beach lover you would just absolutely love it there absolutely love it Puerto Vallarta Mexico very different from what we just looked at in Turks and Caicos you can probably tell right away even just by looking at the pictures you have the gorgeous Sierra Madre Mountains it's a very historical um, town with uh, some great shopping and nightlife. If you're wanting to hit the clubs and, and really um, paint the town red, this is a great place to do that. Gorgeous sunsets here and um, very unique culture. Some great beachfront resorts. Uh, for Puerto Vallarta, I would say um, some of the highlights would be um, that you have that wonderful just two-day residency required, which is really nice. And uh, but also that it's ideal for those sunset and evening weddings. And what's nice too is that you know in the Caribbean locations, you the sunsets early in the evening. Here it's later, like what we're maybe used to more um, in our summer months here in the Midwest or on the East Coast. We have a little bit later time for the for the sun to set. So I would say you know you could have a nice evening eight o'clock wedding and just look at that setting in the middle there. That's one of my groups that I went with. We were just enjoying our meal um, as we watched the sunset. And then once the sun went down, we were on the beach there. We could look over to the town area because all of like the, the villas and the hotels and stuff are tucked away in the mountains. You can just see the beautiful lights up on the mountains. It's absolutely breathtaking. Very romantic, very, very romantic area. Very pretty. And uh, very great budget-friendly all-inclusive resorts they have the famous boardwalk there with great shopping and nightlife tons and tons of things to do and uh, that's me over on the left having a drink with some uh, live sand dart guys they were really awesome that that was right on the boardwalk what a cool experience Hawaii obviously we gotta put Hawaii on there I mean it's part of the United States come on we gotta put something in here <laughs> for our wonderful uh, United States of America that we have here of course magical islands so you know Hawaii is a once-in-a-lifetime place it's a it's a dream of a lot of people uh, amazing scenery 
and the volcanoes and waterfalls. You've got beaches, whale watching certain times of the year, tons of really cool adventurous excursions, or you could even do more scenic excursions, very romantic. And of course, each island does have something different to offer, so definitely uh, talk with me and give me a little bit more information about what you're looking for so I can match an island with your 